What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you the location of Arcade 6's uh, treasure chest locations on the EDZ on Earth. Now they're actually in different positions than what they were the first time they come around. Uh, today being the 3rd of October 2017 you would have guessed they would be in different positions. So today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you get to each and every one of these uh, chests. Uh, but before we get into the video guys, do you want to win some juicy loot of your own? I've got emblem cores, I've got gift cards, I've got spiral cores, I've got much more. To win some, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so first things first, you want to head to Trustlands. The landing zone right here if you was going to see Dev Room. Okay, this is where you go to. Once you'd spawn in, you just want to jump on your sparrow, follow the location I am taking right here. I don't hit a, a messed up car like I just did. So you want to go through this little gap here. Oh my life, the frame rate, the frame rate. This game can't handle it. So you want to jump through here, just like so. Uh, run through this back corner, go through this little gap, and there we can see it right ahead of you. Right there. Okay, so let's grab that while we're here. Um, there we go. And I got a legendary, a cloak, a um, chest piece, and a letter fragment. Nice. So we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is located within the salt mines. This one can be a little bit tricky to get to if you don't know which way you're going. So basically, you want to spawn back into the trust lands within the EDZ, obviously. Now, I'm obviously going to do these for people who have already collected some chests. So you can just go straight here and um, go straight to the location. I will pinpoint because I'm saying that because uh, this is actually just like basically a lead on from where we just were. But a lot of people, like I said, have probably already got this first chest. So I'm coming straight to the EDZ and need to know where to go from as soon as you spawn in. Hence, why we spawn back into the trust land. So you come back to the salt mines, as we can see here. And you want to head through that door. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't worry about the enemies. I mean, it can be a bit of a pain, but it doesn't really matter. If you avoid them, if you got them ninja skills like me, you should be fine. Watch the bells as well, because if one of them blows up next to you, it's good night. It seriously is. Now, this one's probably the most out of the way, out of the five uh, chests we will collect today. Now, leave me alone, Dreg and Shank. Get my way, fool. Okay, so you just want to keep going, keep going, get deeper and deeper, ignore these as well. And basically in this room, in this far right corner, we can see up there is the chest. And there we go. Let's see what I get from this chest. Ah. Woo, I got a blue. Hey, hey. now on to the next one. Okay, so this next one is super simple to find it seriously. So you want to spawn back into trust lands within the EDZ and you want to jump on your sparrow and you just want to head left just like so now this one you can't really miss to be honest you can't really miss this one so as you can see we come down to here and it is up there on your left hiding within that balcony so let's go and it won't let me grab it yes good again there we go. Cade 6 is treasure chest. Are you going to give me anything good? No, two blues. <laughs> really? You might glimmer you spend on these and you get nothing but junk. Uh, but on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is located within a winding cove. So you just want to spawn into here. Then you want to head right on your spell and cross this bit of water. Um, don't worry about that sign. Or the warning even. And there we can see it right here. Just like so. Cade 6's treasure chest. Very, very, very nice. Give me an exotic please. And I'm full. I'm full. I'm full. And it gives me nothing. It gives me nothing. But on to the next one. Okay, so the last one is located within the sunken isle. So you just want to quick spawn into here as so. Jump onto your sparrow and head down this giant, giant tunnel. Now this one actually 
it's probably the trickiest. I know I said the second one is, but actually I think this one might be. Because the first time I went looking for this, I went straight past it and got so confused. But um, yes, then I read the description of the actual the location of this thing. Um, and then I sort of like clicked on. Like, yeah, I missed it. I went straight past the big fan where this thing is located. So we come into this big room here, as we can see. Now, don't worry about these enemies. Just want to fly straight through them and we see these massive fans on the left hand side as we can see there the chest is underneath the fan to the right so you just want to go past both of them and come back on yourself and it's easy just jump down just like so and run to the chest and this will be the fifth and final chest and will i get anything good Did that just happen, people? Did I just open up a chest and got nothing for it? Well, you know. I've got scammed by the gunsmith, I've got scammed by Test Eververse, and why wouldn't I get uh, scammed by K6? Yeah, that just makes complete and utter sense. Yes, it does. But yes, guys, um, <laughs> there were K6 treasure chest location, all five of them. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped you out, hope you got something better than I did, but yeah, if it did help you out, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by people, and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.